Welcome to the Carolinas Association of Collegiate Registrars and Admissions Officers Virtual College Fair. We're so excited to have you participating in this event. We have some fantastic schools here with us today. Each will have six minutes to share more about their institution, but we'll be around for the entire session to answer questions. My name is Nashira and I will be your facilitator. Before we get started, a few housekeeping items. Your camera and microphone are off so the panelists cannot see or hear you. You can use the Q&A button on your screen to type your questions to our presenters at any time. This is just one of many different sessions happening, so be sure to check out the schedule on the website. This presentation is being recorded and will be available at strivescan.com forward slash Carolinas. I'd now like to turn it over to our first presenter, Appalach Appalachian State University. Thank you. All right. Hey, thank you very much. Um, welcome everyone. My name is Beth Watts. I am the Associate Director for Transfer Advising here at Appalachian State and Transfer Admissions and Engagement. And we are very excited to um, be here with you today. So we'll go ahead and get started. All right. So if you've ever been to the high country of North Carolina, then you know that it's a beautiful place um, to live and learn. And we are very excited to live in the beautiful Blue Ridge Mountains. Um, Boone is, has been rated one of the best places to live and stay by National Geographic. And this is downtown Boone. This is King Street. And if you're in downtown Boone, then you're basically right on campus because they parallel each other. So we were very excited to have um, downtown and campus right beside each other so our students can take advantage of all the different amenities. There are quite a few things to do here in the high country. Um, we have things such as all four seasons. So students are able to take PE um, as skiing and snowboarding. So if that's something you're interested in learning, we definitely have that for you. There's also rock climbing. Um, there's a lot of students that are always in their Eno hammocks or they're out slack lining. Um, there's also great waterfalls to jump off. So a lot to do here in the high country if you're interested in getting outdoors. Sustainability is a big part of who we are because we do live and learn in such a beautiful place. We want to make sure that we continue to keep it that way. So sustainability is a hallmark of Appalachia. We do have just over 20,000 students. We did invite our largest class this last fall. Um, and so about 26% of those students began as transfers. So you can think that you're about one in four of all of our transfer students. You're there with, a, with some, for some company of others. There are over 150 majors here at Appalachian. Um, we do have a small class ratio, so it's about 16 to 1 for our student to faculty, and our average class size is about 28 students. So we're very excited to offer um, all of our students more personalized education experience. About 40% mm, about of our students are always involved in some sort of internship, um, and quite a few of our students are either employed or they are going to graduate school uh, after their first year or after graduation at Appalachian. So. Very good stats so that we know our students are being successful. So we do have a couple programs that are completely online. These are our online graduate, undergraduate programs. Um, we do have two new ones that are coming here in the fall, Supply Chain Management and Vet Tech. So we're very, very excited about both those. Um, we do have two site-based programs. One is elementary education. That's offered in Hudson, North Carolina at Caldwell Community College. And then we also have the social work program, which is, which is offered at CVCC in Hickory, North Carolina. Um, and we are looking to bring on some other programs. So if you are interested in getting an online Degree, then make sure you're checking out App State online. So everybody wants to know how much it's going to cost. That's always a very big question for a lot of students. Um, and so we are excited to say that Appalachian has been rated among the best values of America by Forbes magazine. Here you can see that students who are coming to us as in-state residents a main campus tuition and fees, so that's just tuition and fees, it does not include housing, room and board, anything like that, for the whole year is just under $8,000, and that does include a textbook rental, so we do not require you to buy textbooks, you're able to rent those and download them. Um, if you are planning on living on campus, then that's about $12,000 for the whole year, and that does include a standard meal plan. If you are going to be doing one of our App State Online programs, then that is per credit hour, and you can see that breakdown there. So we are pretty affordable whenever you look at, at it from a big perspective. Okay, so a little bit about the admissions process for transfer students. We are on a rolling admissions process, which means that we will continue to admit students until the class is full. 
We do have some suggested deadlines. And if you're looking to come in summer or fall, that suggested deadline is February 1st. If you're looking to become in spring, that suggested deadline is October 15th. Keep in mind, in order to be admissible at Appalachian, you do have to have a cumulative GPA of at least a 2.25 and 24 transferable hours. You can get more information about this at transfer.appstate.edu or admissions.appstate.edu. And just so you know, we are still accepting applications for summer and fall. So if you are interested in applying, you're able to do so. Just a few fast facts about Appalachian. As I mentioned earlier, about 26% of our students um, are transfer students. And so new transfer students as for the 21 class was about 2000 students. And we brought in about the same, we're bringing about the same thing for about the 22 class. And the average GPA is about a 3.19. Um, and most students bring in about 52 credits, as you can see. One thing that we are very, very proud of is that we have been on the transfer for Phi Theta Kappa for about the last five years. Um, and so there's only a handful of um, institutions in the state that are part of that. We have also been voted very friendly for our veterans. Um, so if you are a veteran, we have a very robust veterans um, community here. And also we have a veterans center that's very active on campus. Living and learning in the mountains of North Carolina is always is always a great opportunity. Um, here at Appalachian, we do have a residence hall that is dedicated to our transfer students, and that is Mountain Laurel Hall, and it is also home of our transfer community. Um, for We only have about three to 350 beds for our transfer students on main campus, so a lot of our students do end up living off campus. And a great website for finding some rental agencies here in the high country is offcampus.appstate.edu. That's going to give you um, a collection of all the rental agencies here in the area. So there is quite a bit to do here at Appalachian. We really want for you to get involved. So we have about 400, 400 to 450 clubs and organizations. Um, and so there's all things to do, whether you would like to do something like intramural sports, um, if you want to get your Quidditch game on, we actually have a nationally ranked Quidditch team. Uh, if you would like to do some community service, we have quite a few community service organizations. And so there's just a lot to do here at Appalachian. We are having open house coming up in spring on um, um, April 9th if you are interested. And of course, if you have any questions, then we welcome you to give us a call um, or, say, or get on our website, transfer.appstate.edu. And thank you so much for your time. I appreciate it. Thank you so much, Appala Appa <laughs> Sorry, Appalachian State University. <laughs> now we'll have Elizabeth City State University. Thank you so much. I'm going to just begin by sharing my screen. Hello, everyone. My name is Sherry Franks, and I'm with Elizabeth City State University. I'm the Assistant Director of Transfer Admissions. ECSU is nestled in the northeast section of North Carolina. We have about 19,000 um, people in the city of Elizabeth City. We were first named one of the best places to live on the East Coast by Money Magazine. We're located about 35 miles from the Outer Banks and 61 miles from Virginia Beach. Um, this is a picture of our waterfront that's located about three miles from the university. This is a beautiful pic of our main campus taken by one of our own drones. It shows our dining hall, a few of our dorms, our main gym where all of our basketball games are played, and the Ridley Student Center, which is the hangout for most of our students on campus. ECSU has over 30 degree programs. We have two completely online degree programs in interdisciplinary studies and homeland security, and two online degree completion programs in criminal justice and business administration. One of our growing programs is aviation science. We are the only university in North Carolina that offers a full undergraduate degree in aviation science, meaning you can graduate in four years, fly the blue skies as a pilot, work in aviation management, air traffic control, or work with unmanned aircrafts and drones. Here at ECSU, we love to keep our students engaged in programs and services like PACE, which provides education and cultural activities, Champion Scholars, which is a male-only mentoring program group, a full-service healthcare center, 
accessibility service to assist and support students who need accommodations, and counseling and testing to attend to students' mental and physical well-being. Also continue to support our students with academic advising, where students are required to meet with their advisor each semester to go over their plan of study and academic requirements to make sure they are on task with graduating. We have free tutoring, one-to-one -one or group support, a writing lab, and supplemental tutoring. We also have a career de development center that offers internships and career fairs. I'm sorry. Thank you on the right slide. <laughs> to assist students and to keep our students active on campus, we have over 70 um, student organizations, 12 active fraternities and sororities, and over 300 sponsored events and activities. So you always have something to do on campus. ECSU, we offer an honors program, which is designed to challenge students with high academic standards. Transfer students who are enrolled in an academic program prior to matriculation at ECSU will be invited to join our honors program. However, students must present proper credentials and a letter of recommendation from the director of honors program in which they participated. The mission of our housing and residence life is to provide students with comfortable and secure community living. We offer housing for our freshmen and transfer students, and all of our students are allowed to bring their vehicles to campus, even, even our first time freshmen. ECSU belongs to the CIAA conference. We are division two. Our teams consist of basketball, football, golf, cross country, bowling, cheerleading, softball, tennis and volleyball. In any given day and at all of our games, we'll see our mascot, Vic the Viking, ready to take pictures and dance. ECSU is one of four NC Promise schools in the UNC systems that offers tuition at a rate of $500 per semester in-state, $1,000 annually, $2,500 per semester out of state, $5,000 annually. With the cost of tuition, there are other fees that may be associated with housing, like meal plans, um, book rental. We encourage all students to apply for the FAFSA. Some of our scholarships and grants require a completed FAFSA. So even if you think, don't think you qualify, still apply for aid. Any student that has attended a college or university after high school is considered a transfer student. All transfer students must complete an application and have each college or university previously attended, send in your official transcript. A transfer student must have at least 24 transferable credit hours and a 2.3 GPA. We have also listed our deadlines, application deadlines for each semester. Thank you so much for attending. And if you have any questions, you can always reach me or Mr. Hill at Elizabeth City State University. Thank you so much. Thank you, Elizabeth City State University. We will now have Lenar Ryan University. Good evening, everyone. Uh, my name is Morgan Logan, and I am the Transfer Enrollment Counselor from Lenore Ryan University. Uh, Lenore Ryan is located in Hickory, North Carolina, and all of our undergraduate students actually study on our Hickory campus. Uh, so in addition to our Hickory campus, uh, we have a graduate study center in both Asheville, North Carolina and Columbia, South Carolina as well. Um, but the photos here on the screen are from our main campus uh, here in Hickory, North Carolina, and that's where I'm at as well. Uh, our total student enrollment at Lenore Rhine is approximately 3,000 students, uh, considering both our undergraduate and our graduate population. Uh, and our average class size at Lenore Rhine is 17. Uh, so we very much value uh, the opportunity to provide students with a very personal college experience and to provide them with a comfortable experience in the classroom where you can get to know your professors uh, very easily. Uh, our student to, professor, student to professor ratio at Lenore Rhine is also 12 to one on campus. 
um, considering the different academic programs that we have here at Lenore Rhine, um, we have a wide variety of majors at both the undergraduate and the graduate level. Um, for our undergraduate programs, we have approximately 50 majors, and we also have approximately 20 graduate programs as well. Uh, you can see all of our majors listed here on the screen, um, but just to give you an idea of where some of our larger programs fall, uh, so some of our larger programs at the undergraduate level are majors such as nursing, biology, pre-med, exercise science, business management, and psychology as well. Uh, that being said, you can see here that we have majors that range anywhere from the health sciences to the humanities, uh, to the foreign languages, to the visual and performing arts. Uh, so there's a lot of options here at Lenore Ryan that you can consider. Um, we also have a special program called Bridges to Dreams, uh, which allows students to actually bridge into their master's program during their senior year here at Lenore Ryan. Uh, so what that means is that you can take up to 12 credit hours of graduate study coursework while you're a senior here at Lenore Ryan University. Uh, so those 12 credit hours of graduate level coursework are covered under your undergraduate tuition. Uh, so it not only helps you save money, uh, but the Bridges to Dreams program also helps you get a jump start on your master's degree and be able to graduate with your master's degree a little bit faster after you get your bachelor's. In addition to our uh, academic uh, options, as far as majors are concerned, we also have many activities and things that you can participate in outside of the classroom. Um, just to give you a little bit of an idea of what some of those opportunities are, um, we are part of Division II NCAA Athletics here on campus. Um, as a student athlete or as a non-athlete, there's a lot of community support, community and campus support around our athletics here at Lenore Rhine. Uh, on a game day, uh, you won't be able to find a parking spot on the whole campus and everyone will be tailgating. Uh, so it's a great opportunity for students that either want to participate in athletics or if you're like me and you just want to be able to cheer on athletics, uh, Lenore Rhine is a great place to do that as well. Uh, for students that may not want to be varsity athletes, we do run intramural sports every semester that students can participate in. Uh, we do have residence life and, and campus housing available for transfer students as well uh, in either suite style or apartment style residence halls. Uh, and we also offer a wide variety of academic support services, such as tutoring, our writing center on campus, our math lab, and also our speech lab as well. Uh, additionally, we work to support students with internships and career development. Uh, so our career and professional development center uh, and our vocation center as well will work with students to help them prepare for their futures. Uh, we also have a wide variety of study abroad opportunities for students that are interested in taking their education uh, throughout the world while they're a student and a variety of organizations that students can be a part of, such as um, fraternities and sorority life on campus and also performing and visual arts organizations uh, here at Lenore Ryan, like our marching band or our acapella choir as well. Uh, currently, we are accepting applications for the fall 2022 uh, and summer 2022 semesters. Uh, so if you are interested in applying, uh, you can do that at any time. Uh, feel free to use the fee waiver code BEARNATION22 when you submit your application. Uh, and that fee waiver code will waive your $35 application fee. When you apply to Lenore Rhine, uh, we need a copy of your college transcript from any college or university that you've attended. And if you have attempted less Less than 30 credit hours after high school graduation, and we will actually also need a copy of your high school transcript as well. Um, the only other thing that we require to apply to Lenore Rhine is called a Dean's Reference Form. A Dean's Reference Form verifies your academic and disciplinary standing at your previous institutions, and that's a PDF document that can be found underneath our application link on our website as well. Uh, for transfer students, we offer a wide variety of scholarships and financial aid options as well. Um, specifically, every admitted transfer student at Lenore Rhine will receive a merit scholarship to help bring down their cost of admission. Uh, so we want to make sure that if a student uh, is wanting to come to Lenore Rhine and if they are admitted, that we help bring down that cost in any way that we can. So 100% of our admitted transfers are awarded merit scholarships. Uh, we also do encourage all students to file the free application for federal student aid so you can maximize your financial aid opportunities as well, and we can assess your financial need. Uh, we also have the opportunity to offer athletic scholarships for varsity athletes, also talent scholarships um, for music, theater, theater, and debate. Uh, we also have a legacy scholarship, uh, and we offer Lutheran aid as well for students that are associated uh, with the Lutheran Church. 
Uh, thanks everyone for listening this afternoon. Uh, my name is Morgan Logan. If you have questions about the transfer process at Lenore Ryan, feel free to reach out. Thanks everyone. Thank you, Lenore Ryan. Uh, we will now have Brevard College. Hello, my name is Sterling. I am an admissions counselor at Brevard College and I work with transfer students here. Uh, we love to have transfer students. Um, we have a lot of different students that come for different reasons and we enjoy taking in uh, transfer students as well. We, we, are, um, we are a small liberal arts school. Uh, we have about 790 students. Uh, we have no desire to become a big school. We like being small. Um, we feel it really does give us personalized attention to the, our students and our average class size is uh, one to 15 as well. Um, you know, it means that, you know, there is no hiding in the back row when you've got classes this small, uh, but we like to feel like it gives our school a community atmosphere. We offer bachelor's of arts degrees and or in science, as well as two master's programs that we just started. Um, so if you're interested in that, we'd love for you to check out our academic listings on our website. Uh, we have students from 30 different states and eight different countries outside of the United States. Uh, so we have a wide variety of people that like to come to Brevard. We have about 55% of our students that are athletes, but also leaves a large percentage that are not. So we, we also like to include everybody. Um, and our first year retention rate is 61% and graduation rate is 40%. So like I said, our faculty to student ratio is 11 to one. Our average class size is 15. Um, last year we were number one in undergraduate teaching. This year we're number two, but we're hoping to move back up. We are a division three school in all of our athletics with the exception of cycling and rock climbing. We're a division one for those. Um, our national uh, bike team has won 11 national championships. And if you like being outside, Brevard College is a great place to be. We have over 250 waterfalls in our county alone. We are a five minute drive from Pisgah National Forest and we are a 10 minute drive from DuPont State Forest. So we definitely use uh, our surroundings as part of our classroom and our playground. Um, so you might be, you know, if you're in an environmental science class, you might go study the hellbenders in Pisgah National Forest or you might go study the blue ghost fireflies in DuPont. Uh, we also have access to the Perry Astronomical Research Institute and it has an 80 foot wide telescope. Um, so we have a lot of great uh, locations here in town that we use. Um, we also use experiential learning, which means that we use our town and our people as part of our classroom as well. So for instance, if you were to be studying business, you might create a marketing or a business plan and you're gonna develop that in your class and then you're gonna go out and a local business owner is gonna let you use their business as a guinea pig, basically. So you're gonna get really valuable feedback on what worked with your business plan or marketing plan, what didn't work. Um, you're gonna build uh, very valuable relationships, maybe some great references for grad school or job possibilities. Um, so like I said, we use our whole community as part of our classroom. Um, so it makes for learning it to be a fun experience because you're not just in the classroom and you're not just reading textbooks and you're not just hearing lectures, you're going out and doing what it is you're learning. So we offer 21 different majors at Brevard College. Our most popular majors are business and organizational leadership, criminal justice, exercise science, and then education, including that. And we also have a great wilderness leadership and experiential learning program. Um, and not very many schools have this. So if you're interested in um, outdoor activities, you can come and you can maybe get a job uh, leading a summer camp or being an outfitter or a guide service. So we have a lot of students that come here and love taking classes in experiential uh, wilderness experiential and uh, learning and experiential education. So if you're interested in, in mountain biking or rock climbing and you've never taken a class, take a class in mountain biking or rock climbing. We'd love to have you uh, participate. We also have a great applied physics department, art and history. It's a wide variety school for a liberal arts school. And again, we like experiential learning. So in just about every class that you take, you're gonna be going out into the field and working with professionals and experienced people to do what it is you're learning. So school is not just academics and it's not just athletics. We offer and encourage students to participate in a lot of our clubs and organizations here. Um, I have some listed here, but we have a lot of different social justice groups, religious groups, um, Dungeons and Dragons, you name it. Um, we like to offer a lot of wide variety and they're always changing and growing with students' um, desires and, and enjoyment levels. Uh, if we have uh, a, you know, several people that are interested in a club and we don't offer it, pitch it to the school and we'd love to help create that club for you. 
So I think that the school really does a great uh, job of listening to students and asking for their feedback. Because like I said, we're a community here. Uh, if you apply, we will definitely help you link you to scholarships and grants that we have here at Brevard College. Uh, if you apply, depending on what state you're coming from, you'd either get the half tuition scholarship or a merit scholarship. And the merit scholarship is based on your um, GPA, basically. Um, and it can range from ten dollars to $14,200 per year. Uh, we also offer scholarship days where you can interview for various scholarships that we offer here. And if you live far away, we can definitely set up a virtual scholarship interview for that. Um, we also offer early enrollment fee grants that you can get very easily. Um, and we also have a great fine arts department. So we offer three different fine arts scholarships, one for uh, music, one for visual, and one for theater. So we have a lot of great opportunities for you to get scholarships here and help lower your cost to attend. So if you're interested in Brevard College, we would love for you to apply. Our application is always free. Uh, we would just need your high school and college transcripts, and you're welcome to email to our admissions office along with your application. Um, we have financial aid counselors that will be happy to work with you on your FAFSA and working to get scholarships and grants. Um, your admissions counselors will be glad to link you with other scholarships that might be useful to you, and we will do everything we can to help you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Brevard College. Now we'll have Western Carolina University. Hi, everyone. Thank you all for joining us today. Uh, nestled in the beautiful mountains of Western North Carolina on a 600 acre campus, Western Carolina University is a transfer friendly institution offering over 120 degree programs as well as robust award winning online programs. So WCU is really where you can find your next adventure. If you're looking to go beyond the norm, WCU offers a setting that allows for whitewater rafting, hiking, biking, skiing, horseback riding, and other outdoor adventures activities. So we are a medium-sized college with around 12,000 students. Our size affords you the opportunity to really meet new people every day, but also to experience a sense of community by seeing those you've already met or befriended frequently around campus. So our classroom sizes average to be about 25 students per class or a 17 to 1 student to faculty ratio, really allowing for one-on-one -on -one relationships with faculty and staff members and direct support from those employees. As only one of three schools in North Carolina, WCU is a North Carolina Promise School, which means that we are able to offer reduced tuition prices, which we will go over here in just a little bit. And to top it all off, the application for 2022 is free, and we're still accepting applications for fall 2022 through April 1. So the 120 different academic majors span across six academic colleges. That's education, business, fine and performing arts, engineering and technology, arts and sciences, and health and human sciences. We offer a variety of award-winning academic programs. Some of our most popular specific programs include business, criminal justice, psychology, nursing, education, and more. All of these programs offer experiential-based learning. So for business, you can create a business plan. In nursing, you're working with innovative technology for practice. And our education students complete time in an educational environment as a part of their curriculums. In addition to our academic programs, we have the longest running residential honors college with more than 1,300 students, which is an excellent point to put on your resume. As we are a residential honors college, you can see our honors dorms here in the center photo. And as I mentioned, WCU focuses on experiential based learning and career readiness. So these priorities have helped our students and college rank in the top 10 every year for the number of research projects accepted by the National Conference on Undergraduate Research. So getting involved in various organizations and activities is one of the best things that you can do in order to enrich your college experience. WCU has 200 student organizations and over 50 club and intramural sports. Our club sports are competitive in nature and compete against other universities across the state and region. We've also been ranked the Southeast number one outdoor adventure college for several years in a row. So if you're looking for a new adventure, you can definitely find it at WCU. We offer Base Camp Kaloui to help our students really get acclimated to their new surroundings by taking them on camping, whitewater rafting, hiking, biking trips, and they also can go skydiving, skiing, and horseback riding too. 
They also offer rental opportunities um, for camping gear, kayaks, frisbees, and more. We also have 16 Division I NCAA athletic teams and one of the largest bands with over 500 members who have even led the Macy's Day Thanksgiving Parade. Engaging with others from diverse backgrounds is an essential component for the holistic student learning experience. So we believe in providing a campus environment where students from different backgrounds and cultural groups feel appreciated, respected, and valued. That's why we have several opportunities for our students to get involved in diversity programs at WCU. These organizations not only provide opportunities for students to learn and engage with one another, but the programs also offer student support. As an NC Promise institution, we are dedicated to providing you with an uncompromised collegiate experience at an affordable price. So you can view the breakdown of our tuition prices on the screen here. Some transfer students may choose to live off campus and that is okay, which is why it's broken down the way that it is. These fees displayed also includes books as well. So we know as transfer students, some of you and your life circumstances may prevent you from coming to Cullowhee. This is why we offer seven fully online undergraduate programs, all asynchronous and to be completed in the convenience of your own home. Our distance learning programs are constantly recognized for both affordability and excellence. As you can see, our distance tuition rates also reflect the NC Promise commitment, coming in at only approximately $197 for a three credit hour class. So now that you've all heard about WCU, let's talk about how to become a Catamount. So we take a holistic application review approach when considering our transfer applications. A competitive GPA along with consistent grade patterns are amongst the top considerations we use to determine admissibility. We like to see an average GPA of around a 3.0, although the minimum GPA we will consider is a 2.2, and we require at least 12 hours of college credit. WCU is also a very transfer friendly institution, as the credits you've completed elsewhere are components of your hard work and dedication towards in earning a degree. So we accept as many credits as we possibly can. So our transfer application process is very simple. Um, just complete these four steps, fill out the application, our application fee is waived, submit your college transcripts and your high school transcripts or standardized test scores. Um, in, if you're over the age of 21 or if you have 24 or more hours of college credit, you do not have to submit high school transcripts or standardized test scores. And lastly, you'll want to visit Cullowhee. So some of our students just know that Cullowhee is their home away from home as soon as they step foot on our serene and beautiful campus. So you can make plans to visit today at our upcoming open house event or at one of our in-person campus tours. Or if you can't make it out, you can visit us virtually by viewing our 360 degree virtual tour from the convenience of your home. Thank you. Thank you, Western Carolina University. I'd now like for all of the representatives to join me on screen for a quick Q&A. So Appalachian State University, we'll start with you. What advice would you give someone going through the college search process? Um, the advice that I would give someone going through the college search process is to make sure that you're going to the campus and that you are visiting the campus. Uh, one thing that you wanna make sure is that it is the, the right fit. Um, so make sure that you are getting there and get, getting a campus tour and maybe meeting some of the students um, so that you are sure that that campus is exactly where you want to be. Thank you. What about you, Elizabeth City State University? Um, advice that I would give a student is make sure you contact each and every previous school that you've attended to have them send us your official transcript because we're gonna need all of your official transcripts from any college or university you've ever attended. So just to make sure be on top of that and have each one send us your official transcript. Okay. Lenar Ryan University, what's your hey, <laughs> So I would encourage everyone uh, to apply for outside scholarships. Uh, so transfer students are actually able uh, to apply for outside scholarships as well. 
And that can be a great way to continue chipping away at your cost and, and have to pay um, or have the opportunity to pay much less out of pocket. So I encourage all transfer students to spend some time applying to outside scholarships as well. Okay, uh, <clears throat> Brevard College. Uh, I would encourage students to contact professors in the department that they're interested in, make sure it's a good fit. Um, I think that's a great way to you know, find out if a school is going to work for you. Um, and I would also find out what credits will transfer, because that's a good number to have in mind. And that may make a difference in where you choose to go. Okay. Uh, Western Carolina University, your advice? My advice would be to reach out to your desired transfer institutions early. It's never too early to reach out and to get a plan as far as what credits you need to be taking, what classes are going to be transferable to your desired institution. And um, that way you can get any required prerequisites out of the way, hopefully, um, prior to your enrollment at the four-year institution. Thank you. So our second question is, what's one thing you want students to remember about your school? All right, <clears throat> so we'll start with Appalachian State University. All right, so one thing to remember about our school is we are located in you know, Northwestern North Carolina and we are a destination institution. So there's quite a bit to do. Um, so if you are looking for a great outdoor adventure and experience and also being able to live and learn um, in a beautiful place, then Appalachian is definitely gonna be um, one you should consider. All right, thank you, Appalachian. Um, Elizabeth City State University. Um, we're a very family oriented university. We're very small, but the professors are like your uncles and aunts and you can get, you know, people on campus. If you don't know people on campus, you can get to know everyone on campus. We're pretty small in size, but 11 university. Thank you. Lenore Ryan University. One thing that I'd like for students to remember about Lenore Rhine is that we are very spirited on campus and there's a lot of support both from our community and from our um, students and faculty and staff as well. Um, we always say once a bear, always a bear. Uh, so go bears here at Lenore Rhine. But if you're looking for a place that is strongly supported, but also has um, just a strong amount of school spirit, um, then Lenore Rhine might be the right place for you. Thank you. Brevard College, what's one thing? Uh, we're small but mighty. We have a lot of passion for what we do. It's a beautiful place to be here as well. There's a lot of fun things to do, but it really is a community atmosphere here. So you'd be a part of a, a, a group, a family. Thank you. And Western Carolina University. So WCU, as I mentioned, is a North Carolina Promise School. And what that means is we are able to offer our tuition at a reduced rate. And the state of North Carolina is actually paying the difference in that reduction. So it's not that our price really changed, it's that the state actually picks up a portion of your tuition price. So we're very affordable and a great, um, a great buy. All right, thank you. So our last question for tonight is, what is one myth you'd like to debunk on the college admissions or transfer process? Um, so we will start with APA. Lation. <laughs> I'm getting uh, so one thing to debug, I think, is that, you know, a lot of students think that whenever they transfer, that they're going to lose a ton of credit, um, you know, but there's always ways to work through that. So I think that it's very important, um, as my colleagues here have stated, that students reach out and talk to an admissions officer so that they can really understand how their credits are going to transfer, because there's lots of ways around things. Um, you can petition for credit, you can work with the department, get substitution. So I think you just need to really work with someone so that they can help you through that process. Thank you. All right, Elizabeth City State University, what about you? What's what's one myth you'd like to debunk? Um, one myth it would be that going to an HBCU, you're getting less of an education. Um, attending an HBCU, you're getting the same education that you're getting at any other college or university. Thank you. Lenar Ryan University, what's one myth you'd like to debunk? One myth that I would like to debunk is uh, the myth that I've heard that private colleges are too expensive to attend. Um, so here at Lenore Ryan, and I, I believe that I can speak for colleagues from other private colleges and universities as well, um, we have the opportunity to offer a variety of different scholarships, uh, oftentimes for very large amounts that can significantly reduce a student's cost, cost of attendance uh, and allow um, that student the opportunity to attend a private college. Uh, so I always encourage students, if you're interested in private colleges and universities, go through the application and financial aid process, because you'll probably be surprised as to what your, your final amount actually is. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. Bavaria College, what's one thing you'd like to debunk? 
that uh, transfer students are not eligible for a lot of the good scholarships. Um, we do have plenty of scholarships that, that transfer students are eligible for, and we're more than happy to link them with them. But I think a lot of students think that they're only available to first year students or entering students, and that's not true. We have plenty of great scholarships for transfer students. Thank you. Uh, Western Carolina University, you wanna round this out with a myth you'd like to debunk? Sure. So those of you who have attended multiple colleges, um, there's always the myth that if you've transferred credit from your former colleges to your most recent, you can just send that one transcript to your new transfer institution and that will suffice. But that's actually a myth. We need your official transcripts from every college you have attended. So that way we can evaluate your transfer credit and ensure that you do get the transferred um, credit from all of your institutions and not just the most recent one. We have to look at this individually. Okay. Well, I want to thank you all so much as panelists and thank you all for attending. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, when you close this window, there will be a quick five question survey and we'd appreciate any feedback that you could provide. We also encourage you to check back at the schedule and sign up for more sessions. You'll be able to find this session's recording as well as all of the other session recordings at strivescan.com forward slash Carolinas. You all enjoy your evening or days. Bye. <laughs>